Okay, now we have tons of oxygen coming through. Pretty chill. 10 degrees. Nice and chill. Wow. And then we have enough water. This was the only thing I was worried about was the water supply. If it's supplying, man, maybe over time we'll end up losing some. Oh my god, look at how many fish we have. Time to start making some fish fries. Let's see. Gulp fry egg. One unit. We'll then make one. Let's see, two units. Make two. Tropical fry egg. Three units. Make three. How's that all I have? I feel like I should have a lot more than that. Hatchling egg. Sure. We have three of those. <laughs> Glossy Drekla egg. I uh, guys, we're going to make two of those. There we go. Drekla egg. Five of those. Make, make five. We have plenty of, of, of actual animals. But yeah, we have plenty. We're actually a little overcrowded in some, some respects. Okay. So, our little setup here. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what's going on. So this is distributing the exact opposite of how I want it to do. <laughs> of course it is! Uh, that's an easy fix. Which is a bridge. <laughs> and then we'll snip it right here. There we go. Perfect! That's so silly. <laughs> constantly, constantly battling just things going wrong. Just things going wrong. Fuck allergies. What'd you do? So this is running. This is all. This stuff is operating great. We have 7.8 tons of plastic. We have lots of petroleum being made and then being instantly used. Uh, we have some floating. It's not even a lot of natural gas, honestly. So I'm not really worried about taking all that and siphoning it out. We have this over here. This door's open, so hopefully it kind of drags some of that stuff over. We're never gonna get rid of. I mean, we're never gonna run out of oil. Like this is just an infinite oil supply, really. We're only, we're only mitigated right now by the drains and how quickly they can drain. Look at, look at how they fill up. They do, 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 And then someone comes over here and starts working on this thing, siphons all the fuel out, and then once it shuts down, they leave. It's perfect. It's perfect. Yeah, the polymer press has been gone basically nonstop for like 200 cycles or something. It's never going to overheat, man. Well, maybe. It's at 200 degrees right now, so maybe eventually. But what is the, what is the, uh, 257 degrees is its cutoff point. You know, a lot of the heat is actually coming from up here, I bet. Let me see. Well, obviously it's generating its own heat, but I feel like this is not helping. Like, these things are all pretty hot. Well, these things are, uh, eh, we'll let it go. When it's, when stuff starts, you know, breaking, then we'll come and we'll take a look at it. But I think right now we're fine. How's this room doing? Negative 49. Woohoo! How are we not flash freezing pipes, man? The water's coming through at negative 40 degrees. How does that work? How is that possible? And it's tiny little drops of water, too. Like, this series of 100 grams of water. Let's see. Oh, is that we were going to cut off this entire loop here and just store all that. That's right. Let's, uh, let's do that. Oh, wait a minute. No. Because we still need that water. <laughs> I think. Where's that water going to? Tiny, what, are, what are these tiny little drops of water going to? Oh, it's going into the, into this system. That's feeding, uh, quite a few things. But you know what? I don't think we necessarily need that water supply. Let's just make a mental note of this. Because, yeah, it's going up to like the bottler. It's going to the soda machine. And it's going into the carbon skimmer. The carbon skimmer only operates like once, you know, every, like a few times a cycle, maybe. Uh, and only for like little blips. So I have a feeling that's probably enough water. Yeah, super early. I know. We'll, we'll come back and check to see if, if cutting off this water supply is going to be detrimental to our health in the future. But I think right now, storing all this ice-cold water would be... will be good. I mean, they're only getting like 100 grams every... every other... Look at that. It's like not even every single pulse. It's like every other tick. Oh, less than 1k will not change states. Water to ice or steam. Oh, huh. Huh, that's interesting. I wonder why that is. What the purpose of that is. Look at them frying up some food. Get it. We're actually running pretty low on food. Probably because we're getting too hot up here. So I, so, so basically what, what this game is telling me is that I need to come up with a solution for this room right now. Because notice that this room is fine. This room is great. It's got, it's got its own little uh, wheeze wart just kind of chilling. Doing, actually chilling. Doing its thing. Um, do I have another wheeze wart just floating around not doing anything? I don't think so. I think we're weird. Yeah, I do not. Do I not really? I guess I don't. We, we put this one over here. How's this doing? 
Well, it's winter the fight. It's no longer melting in this specific area right here. This was all melting before. So it is technically doing well. Um, and still cooling the air that's coming through. Very little air, but it is cooling. Going in, coming out at 45, going in at... Okay, well, it's not coming in right now. <laughs> coming in at 133. So yes, it is definitely working. Uh, we do have some buildup over here, which is great. I think you just heard the Name thing. Devil. Name Devil! Please don't torture me. I got so much to live for. It's okay. We'll make a backup. We'll make a clone and we'll torture the clone instead. We'll be fine. Hey, look, we got another pipsqueak. Oh, they never did wrangle this thing, huh? Sweep that up. Hatchling egg. I'm going to put it up here. Is there not a critter dropper for hatchling? Hatch hatchling. Okay, I guess I just need to sweep it up. All right, so yeah, this is going to be... This is something we have to deal with. Stat. Uh, I wonder if we should get rid of the pole. Because the plastic ladder is pretty damn fast. Right? Like how much faster is the is the ladder versus the the pole? Let's see. Let's this 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 let's do a test. You go here. Okay? And then you go back to here. Oh man, that's not a lot. Let's do regular speed, just so I can keep an eye on it here. Okay, and then go back up. Okay, I mean, it's it's an improvement, but is it improvement worth, like, all the resources that have gone into this? And also we could move things over and tighten this up a little bit? Hmm. I think not. I think it's time. Kill the, uh... Maybe this one that goes all the way to the top of the base. Sure, that one, I'll, I'll, I'll keep that one around, but maybe this one over here. We get rid of just in exchange for that. That way we can tighten this up, like move this over one, uh, and start sealing this up, sealing this room up, sealing this room up, and just start pumping gas out of here so that way we can continue to pump cold air into this room. Because that's the problem. We're just not we're just not getting circulation. The room is too uh too compressed. We're gonna have to also get some of this oxygen out of this area and pump it into something else. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe we should force this system here to cycle in, like basically put a cutoff here. Uh, how do I explain this? Um, so you see this pipe that's coming in? We can, we'll put a pump up here somewhere, right? Just anywhere in this room, really. And then what we'll do is we'll have the pump just yank some of this oxygen out, uh, maybe like over here or something, and then have it ooh, have it run down. <laughs> so we run down here, jump this, connect to this, connect right here, and then it'll go in here and it'll merge with this. That way we could keep this cycle, this air cycling. That's the only thing. We just gotta get this air out of this area, and then get it somewhere else. That's the only problem that we're running into right here. So where do I put this pump? It doesn't need to be that big of a pump either. I am on early. I know, people are going to show up at, at, like, stream time. They're going to be like, what the fuck? No, I got to watch this stupid VOD! <laughs> God, Jumper, this is going to be a pain in the ass. Okay, so let's... Let's not use a big pump. Let's use, like, two small pumps. That way we can kind of distribute it like top and bottom here and we'll try this we'll try to put one here um you know what let's go and let's go and get rid of the uh the fireman's pole let me see just buildings building building buildings we'll just blow it up there we go third out of five teaser division so she's got three medals for her cheer career awesome yeah well good for her i had a friend who was in uh cheerleading for a bit he, like, loved, hated it. I think it was, like, just the traveling part and having to get along with everybody. It was, like, you know, like a reality show. All these personalities all mixed together, traveling the world. Because he did, like, competitions and all that stuff, too. He's, like, one of, like, two guys on the team. Um, and he was gay, so he didn't get nothing out of it. Like, <laughs> it was, like, zero benefit. <laughs> he just loved cheerleading. Uh, well, early. I know, Brian. Super early. 
Let's see, it comes out of what? 31 degrees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll we'll basically recycle some of the oxygen and bring it down. Uh, this whole setup here is purely, this whole split is just to get carbon dioxide separated from everything else. Uh, which... I don't really need it right now. This is a direct pipe from the from that. If I turn on a vent downstairs, it's going to start sucking up all the, uh... All of the, what's it called? Um, all the oxygen that we have down there, which I don't want to just dump oxygen out into space. I don't think that's, uh, I don't think that's a viable long term solution. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just guessing. But so this will actually save us a little bit of power here, too. So we could cut this thing. I'm going to deconstruct that. And then we can cut everything around it, too. So cut this, cut this. We don't necessarily need to have, let me see, let's just get in. Yeah, so cut these two, cut these two. Uh, we don't need the bridge here. Actually, yeah, we don't need the bridge here. Let us do more harm than good being there. Good. And then we will run a vent. Did they already take down the pipe? Damn, they're fast. The pole is gone. So let's start with the mini gas pumps. So mini gas pump, I don't think it could be right there. I think it'll uproot the, uh, it'll uproot shit if I put it there. So let's put one like right here. And then one right here. This is where it's hot, the hottest. So I feel I feel like this will be this will make the more sense to put up at these upper corners here. And then we can run these pipes down, over, down. And they're so cheap. God, I just put another, just put another one here. Like power wise too, I think they don't really cost much. So we could get away with having a few of these all over the place again, just to keep the air circulating. How much power do they take? Let me see, does it say on the actual unit? Okay, it just disappeared. <laughs> Mini gas pump. What does it take? Uh, 60 watts. Okay, yeah, so cheap. Overall pretty cheap. So we'll do this, that way we're, we're kind of sucking all the air away from the vent. And that should help, and we'll, we'll insulate the rest of the base too. So we'll, not insulate, well yeah, we'll insulate. We'll do this, and then we'll do this. And we'll put a couple doors, and that should be good. Yeah, this room we'll leave alone because it's working. You know, that's it, it's working. Laird Zod, cheap like a Twitch Prime sub. <laughs> Sounds like a commercial. <laughs> like a Twitch Prime sub. Mm -mm -mm. I put a couple doors here, just regular doors, I think it's fine. Not a, ventil not a ventilated door. We do want to kind of, we want to keep this area a little, little sealed. Thank you, Laird Zod, for that. How to get salt to melt fast, no idea. I have not messed with salt at all. At some point, I gotta figure out how to freeze or liquefy oxygen. I have no idea how I'm gonna do that yet. I haven't even thought about it yet, so maybe if I actually think about it first, I can come up with something, but <laughs> right now, no. Let's see, power, bridge. So we'll go up, and then, okay, and then we'll just run this. It's gonna be kinda ugly to do that, but there we go. And that's just gonna grab all the oxygen, bring it all the way down. Well, we don't run that part yet, but we'll go run that now. Yeah, so this could go connect to that. This is gonna go here. These will connect here. That's gonna jump, and then it's gonna go over here. All the way down, and it's gonna jump again. All the way down, and then it's gonna jump again. And it's gonna hook up right here. And actually, oh man. Let's go ahead and get rid of the gas bridge. And mm, maybe all this. Oh, these are backwards too, actually, now that I look at it. Are they? No. So that's, yeah, no, this is good. This is fine, actually. And then we'll take this and we'll inject it into this system. So, ooh, how do I do that? Should I use a gas bridge? Probably use a gas bridge. Gas bridge. Gas bridge seems to be the solution for everything. In terms of like <clears throat> forcing things one way versus another. And, and you know what? Now that I think about it, maybe it's best if we recycle the oxygen that we're using instead of. Um, instead of relying exclusively on what's coming out of this. So what that means is we would put... We'll wait for this. So let's see. So this will push it down the line until it's backed up, and then it'll stop. Right? These fucking things. <laughs> Thank you, Buffy. And what we'll do is just put the bridges up over here. We get this part going. So, uh, uh, just cause. Appreciate that. Let 
This should help immensely. Like this should disinfect this should fix this entire problem that we have right here. Just keeping the air circulating. And also we should probably replace this with no 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 no. Should we feed it back into itself or should we feed it out into this out here? But we'll see. Uh I'm thinking maybe we should put a vent right here and just have it just eject out here into this area. But if we're gonna be pumping this out, feeding it back into the system, I think that'll be fine, especially if we're bypassing the Yeah. What gets priority? Let me see. I already have this set up here, so let me just look at this, see how this operates. So this gets held up. Okay, so that's what we want. Yeah, okay, so that's what we want. We want that to get held up. So this is right then, this is correct. So this this will basically hold up the uh, the electrolyzer, which will save us a little bit of power too, and liquid. And then uh, and then it'll come back around and reconnect to the to the system here. I guess we'll just go like this. And then we'll just snip what we'll I just snip a whole bunch of wires here. And then this how do I wanna do this? Passing that. If I have <clears throat> well, let's wait till they get the stuff built, and then once the stuff starts flowing, then we'll have a better idea. But this needs to be changed, though. So, what do you guys normally do before I come live? I come, uh, come live, come out, uh, or start streaming? What is uh? What, what, what working? I, I know some folks are working. Some folks are probably sleeping. Special all Aussie guys sleeping. There you go. Work. The pipe noise is interesting. Oh. It is. <laughs> work. Work, work, work. So I caught some of you guys then at work, obviously. Or sleeping. Sorry, hon. <laughs> this guy when you started. Nice. Work, 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 work. So I. It, Am I, am I typically, I know that some of you guys have me like, uh, you know, second screen when you guys work, which is great. Um, but I mean, I'm curious, like for those of you guys who are working and then you get off work, uh, like you go home and you like, what's your routine? Like, you know, I'm just, I'm just, just, just general curiosity because my routine is, you know, I stream, whoops, excuse me. I stream like, you know, until like five and then I go downstairs, uh, I help make dinner, uh, and we, I'm gonna speed things up here. Um, and then we, uh, we hang out, watch TV, I walk donut, I put Declan to bed, I put Jen to bed, and then around like nine o'clock or so, I'm back in here and I'm working on stuff. And that's usually the way it works. <clears throat> I left work early, but I probably shouldn't have. Uh oh, go back. Let's go to sleeping in, I should get paid for it. That's a, a Greg Hefley shit. Uh, typically I get off work when you get off work. Oh, yeah, there you go. I'm on a 55 inch screen at home. Hey! Send me that I do stuff like this. <laughs> ah! All of EU in the evening right now. Yeah, it's true, huh? What is it? Uh, it's 11. So it's like, yeah, it's like 8 o'clock over there. Like 8, like, give or take a couple hours. <clears throat> By the way, we're like really losing temperature here, or we're heating up over here. All these uh, things are going out. Um, work, one hour commute, catch last 10 minutes of stream, workout, eat, shower, sleep. There you go. Yeah, that's not a bad schedule. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. who watches me while you work out? I wonder. Is, it, is this good workout, uh, <laughs> workout vibes? <laughs> Hold on. Why is this stuff not done, man? My priorities are all over the place. Obviously. Well, the bridges are all good. We just got to figure out this mess. This is gonna, <laughs> this is a clusterfuck. This thing. Uh, yeah, we have to figure out this mess in order to get it, get it in. But I think we have enough backed up here. Yeah, we have enough backed up, and we could probably go ahead and disconnect this and rebuild it. Just make, makes more, bit more sense. We know that everything before the inlet is gonna get backed up if the outlet is, uh, is full, right? <clears throat> Something like that. We'll let them finish. We'll let them finish this bridge here. Okay, cool. Oh wow, it's going all over the place. Now it's going in circles. <laughs> so now we're gonna go ahead and disconnect uh, this to this, which hopefully that works. There we go. And so that'll continue feeding that. 
And then what we'll do is we'll run this around to... We should have it go around to bite to, like, the, uh, to where the exit, or the, where the merge point is, so... This is... <laughs> this is fucking science right here. I want to see this happen. Let's go! Would be putting pipes behind insulated tile help with insulation? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, 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 you mean I'm putting the pipes inside? Yeah, yeah, actually, no, that, that might work. Sorry, I misunderstood what you are saying. Let me see. What's getting priority? Okay, so the... Alright, so it's not exactly set up the way I, I, I would hope it would. It's actually, it's actually merging, funny enough. Um, it doesn't really help, really? Damn, I thought it would. Well, you know what, though? It, at the very least, it is sl easing up the, the usage here by a little bit. Pipe block, pipe block. That's actually what I want to see, is the piping blocks. So good, so we have little, little bits of oxygen coming through here, which means this is going to start running. The more we get operating here, so all these, if we get all these turned on. Now when you're talking insulated pipes. Oh, oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, when you're talking insulated pipes, then yeah, you're, you're, you're already, it's already insulated, so any other... Any other measures you take outside of that are going to be just negligible in terms of additional insulation. Yeah, diminishing returns, exactly. Thank that's the word. That's the phrase I was looking for. Oh man, is it getting hot? Yeah, this should make a big difference here. So now, now all these are running. All three of these. And maybe we'll get some more. They're, they're fairly cheap, right? I have four of them, it takes four of these to equal one. Uh, one large one, but but the difference is the large one is going to put out more per pump than the small ones But we get better distribution by using the small ones, so I'm hoping that what we see over time is that all of this cool air comes out cools this room And then we cycle it back out to cool again Because uh, it's coming in. It's like 94 degrees. So we should see this thing drop. It's 94.6, 94.7, 94.8 So we should see this number drop dramatically actually because we have a nice trickle of uh, uh, Of oxygen basically cycling out of that room. Who's this? <gasps> House force What's that? <laughs> What's happening? We are, we're early, in case you noticed. And we are currently dealing with an issue, uh, trying, trying to take care of these, these plants. Good for circulating gas, like not for for transporting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, we, I have three of them going right now, and it's, a, yeah, it's 150. <laughs> like, they're weak, man. They don't do much at all. Let's, let's, let's see if we can compare this to something directly. Let's see, that we're coming out of here is a thousand, okay? From one of these. Coming out of this, I mean, this thing will pump probably the same thing. Here we go. Is it, is it a larger block? I mean, that's 500. I think it does a thousand per pump. Uh, so we would need a lot more. But like I said, the distribution, I think, might help. And also, I don't think these things really generate any heat. Like, if anything, they're just like negligible heat that they'll end up generating, so... 50 Gs versus 1K, there it is, there it is. So, yeah, again, good for circulating. And... Hopefully this helps this room reach some kind of equilibrium. I wish there was a... An automation-based, uh like sensor for plants that are over temperature. I know you can put a temperature gauge down, which, you know, works. Sure. Wait, wait, can, can you automate these little pumps? I hope so. You can. Oh, you know what? Maybe I just put a bunch of sensors all over the place and just have them turn, them off, turn off once they get to a certain range. Because I don't want, I don't want, if I keep cycling oxygen like this, I will get to the point to where it's going to be just too cold in here because the oxygen coming in is cold. Like this is 53 degrees. So we'll we'll wait until we get to that point. Maybe just as a reminder for ourselves, what we'll do is we'll put um, a thermal sensor. We'll put a few thermal sensors around. And they'll just be independent based off of whatever they're um, they're hooked up to. Can I put it right? You like right here without? I oh, know. I think it'll erase that plant, right? Yeah, it'll erase that plant. Okay, so let's not do that. Well, it was quick too. Chaos was like, oh boy, I'm gonna rip that plant out the ground. Jeez. Calm down, man. All right, so we'll just do a couple here, and one here. There we go. Easy. Just measure the air temp in the pipes. 
I uh, why do the pipes? It's easier if I if I just do it from the the vicinity because once I get once I get within a certain range, at least I'll know what the air temp of that. I mean, I guess either way works, really. Yeah, either way works. Um, just want to give them all their own thermostat, so that way we can control. And maybe we'll want to run the wires too. Maybe we'll just set, you know we'll just set it up. There ain't no reason for not doing it right now. What is it right now? Yeah. You'll know, get vacuum temp randomly. Well, we'll just hook this up. And we'll set it to, uh... Oh, there's automation wire. There we go. We'll set it to, see, set a green signal if above... We'll say above 70 degrees. If we get to 70 degrees, well, I'll be impressed. Copy settings, settings applied. There's the other one here. Come on, killing demon. Why is the output vent flashing red? Overpressure. It, it can only push out so much gas before it is oh, basically pressurized. And anything anything above that, it was gas vent overpressure. The area is, I think it's 2000 is the cutoff. Yeah, it looks like 2000 is the cutoff. So, I'm hoping that, look at that, nice and green. This is what we want. <clears throat> I'm hoping that we're able to get all this stuff nice and cool. We might have some distro issues, like, you know, maybe put another pipe back here or something like that. Just kind of keep that. Because it's all come from one side. Yeah, it's going to add a few more vents. Where I put this? Right here? Means I'll put another, uh, maybe another vent up there, but. I wonder if I should put them up here. Like one, two? What do you think? Maybe one right here? Maybe one in the middle. Not right there. Pull in the middle. This seems kind of silly, but I, was, I just I just don't want these plants to die because if the plants die, then I die. <laughs> we need this stuff to survive. Mm, we'll put it right here, and then we'll put another one here. This is mess. So dumb. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do. This. Bizzle, are you still here? Don't do this shit. You see all this dumb shit I'm doing right now? Don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> Over pressure. Doom, 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 boom, doom, boom. There, so now we have uh, at least two. They're both going to be over pressure, but they'll be pulsing at different rates. So at the very least, maybe we'll be able to get a better distribution of, uh, of cold air. See, over here and then, of course, up here. And then, since we have thermostats on everything, we'll be able to control the thermostats or control the temperature uh, automatically. And then it'll just magically work. And then we have this perfect system. Perfect system. Yeah. And we've already fixed this down here. Good. Good, good, good. Hey, look at that aluminum ore. Hey, look at that. We're almost done tearing this up. We have to do this in sections because they can't reach some of this stuff. <laughs> I don't want to have to build a bunch of ladders to take this stuff off, so. Oh, you getting on it. Oh, okay. Hold on a second. Get on, get on all of it, though. <laughs> all of it. Get it, Donis. Get it, Donis. Get that, too. But seriously, fuck those blossoms, man. They need light. They need this perfect temperature. They need water. They're, they're so needy. I'm done with it. How do you purify water? Or do I subject my dupes to drinking shit water? You use a sieve. This guy right here. This is your hero right here, man. You get you one of these. What it does is it takes nasty water in and it puts clean water out. All you need is sand. That's it. And a dupe to, to load it up or you can use automation or something like that if you... Do so desire. Good. This is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this room's getting pretty uh, good. And this room's getting packed. That's what I want to see. That was the, that was one of the main points of doing the of setting up another electrolyzer so we could get more hydrogen. So that way, if shit does hit fans, <laughs> as it always seems to do, then we can go and snatch it and get it out of there. Uh, I wonder if I should just for the sake of having. Like a nice pillow of no carbon dioxide. Set up another carbon skimmer over here on this side. Let's go and actually get a carbon skimmer. No, 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 no. Oh, it's a refinement. And we can just run. We can connect the two using the same cables and everything. Uh, oh, it's probably on oxygen. I always, I, I can never find that damn thing. Yeah, I'll put it right here. And then let's see, power wise, we could run it off of. Let me see. Who is. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Just told me to. 
I wanted to see what the power was without clicking away. Will it tell me? Potential power consumed 2.7. Ah, there we go. 2.17 watts was too much. Uh, this is potential power consumed. One. Okay, look at that. That's where it goes. Boop. But we can just share the, uh, the vents. Uh, oh, there's no vents. That's right. It's just, it's just clean. It's just liquid. It's all we need. Hey, look at that. There's water right there. It needs a place to dump shit water, though. Oh, I could just bridge that. Um, I mean, I just go right into it here. I'm gonna bring this over and down, and then that could go. Let's see, I could jump it here to this, or I could just jump it into uh, into this. There we go. Well, that oh, that that won't work actually. Well, it will and it won't. Let me get the liquid bridges up. Ah! Fat fingers. Bridge. Damn it. You know, it's funny. Having the microphone here, I swear, it fucks with my peripheral vision. I don't look at the keyboard when I type, right? But <laughs> when I am using... I'll put on this side, actually. No, no, no. no this side's fine. Uh, but when I'm using uh, the microphone and I can't see the keyboard, for some reason, it messes up my peripheral vision just enough where I just miss, like, certain keys. I normally don't miss. Remember when you used to rely mostly on coal for powering bases? Right? Yeah, that was... That was a nightmare. <laughs> Just constant, constant scrubbing. Constant scrubbing. This is good. This will keep this area nice and clean. Get all that carbon dioxide out of here. The oxyphorin is not quite doing, not quite doing its thing. So, good. And this is, uh, see, I mean, we have plenty of oxygen. We just don't have anything cycling. And actually, we're not really getting the temperature I was looking for up here. 89 degrees, dude. Whoa. That's, uh, that's significant. I mean, we're, we're fine right now, but, I mean, that is significant. But look at all this cool air. I mean, the rest of the base is chill. Like, 78 degrees? That's, like, that's, like, perfect, man. I am per personally, I like 70 degrees. For me, it's, like, 70 to 75 degrees in the house. Like, that's, that's good. It's a little bit colder. I like to, I like to bundle up in the house. 80 ain't chill. When, when okay, when the base was 100 degree, 100 plus degrees... <laughs> <laughs> 80, 80 is chill. <laughs> At least it feels that way. Anything over 74 is too hot. Yeah. yeah. I think right now it's like 70 in here. Oh, actually, I can tell you I have my sensor right here. Let me see. Right here it is... Do, 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 68 degrees. Yeah, 68 degrees right where I'm sitting. This is my little, little sensor. Tell me what temperature is. I like, it, I like it to tell me what temperature it is so I can bitch about it. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Man, I can't believe it's 73 degrees in here. So hot. <laughs> but this is perfect weather. I got the window open. Um, Sunday's sitting over there looking out the window and Donut's chilling somewhere. Probably looking for animals to bark at out the front window. Constantly on guard. You know, they are. California weather. I know. Man, I can't. I cannot complain. I can't. After what I dealt with for... How long did I live in Vegas? Uh, 15 years? 16 years? Yeah, after after dealing with Vegas for 16 years, I am... I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good with this California weather, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Off to work, Buffy! I'm glad you got your work shit handled. Go have fun. Enjoy it. St. Louis weather! What, that... ball sweating bullshit weather? Any, anywhere, yeah, no. What was the worst, the worst, the, the, the worst weather that people mostly, uh, the worst, yeah, the worst weather people usually refer to is, like, in the south, uh, typically. So basically, I mean, like, pretty, like, South Carolina, Georgia, uh, Louisiana, uh, Florida Panhandle, um, uh, and that's, like, it's usually the, uh, humidity that people refer to. It's not so much the heat. Like, I feel like people can pretty much deal with heat. Like, even Vegas is kind of like, yeah, it's hot, but it's dry heat, you know? Uh, yeah, it's 115 degrees outside, but it's dry. <laughs> You're not sweating profusely. Uh, but then you go to the south and it's like 85 degrees, which anywhere else in the world would be like just comfortable, right? It's like, oh, 85 degrees is vacation weather. This is awesome. I'm going to put on my shorts. I'm going to go have fun. But then you go to the south. <laughs> 
But then you go to the fucking south, and it's 85 degrees. Oh, also 150% humidity. Did you want to go swimming? Just step outside. Yeah, it's 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 definitely a significant difference between dry, you know, 85 dry, uh, 85 uh, humidity weather, uh, humid weather, and then uh, 115 degree uh, arid dry dryness. Chicago gets that too, and then add wind chill in winter. When you walk outside your house and you feel like you've been hit in the face with a wet pillow, it's pretty rough. Yeah, that's what we used to say. We went to Thailand. Thailand is actually worse than any uh, any place in the states that I've been. And I've been to. Uh, all the states that I've named, basically. Um, during the summer, too. So I've experienced, if you live in the South, I have experienced more than once, for extended periods of time, your shitty summer weather and your winters, which don't make any sense. Um, <laughs> it's like, it's cold. It's like the wind chill. It's like, it's like uh, zero degree wind chill. And you're like, it's freezing outside. Why don't they have snow here? Um, but yeah, Thailand takes a cake, man. In the summer, that's why they're all skinny over there. We're, we're over there. <laughs> we're in Thailand. The, name one fat Thai person from Thailand. I'll wait. It's not going to happen. It's because they just sweat that shit off. They just... It just like a sponge, they step outside. It just is gone. Oh, God. You take a shower, and then you get back to your bunk, and then you have to take another shower. It's, it's just the worst. <laughs> it's the worst weather, man. I can't deal with that. Oh wow, they never they never finished this wire over here, which means what? Did we not check something for a super long time and end up running out? Uh, oh, that door doesn't... <laughs> oh, it's just the door. Uh, I'm out of gold, actually. Yikes. Let's go ahead and fix that. You should pay attention to stuff like that. Let's stop bullshit about stupid weather. <laughs> never put lead here. There we go. At least that door will work. A couple 30 degree Fahrenheit days and a couple of 50. Wow, that's a, that's a mix. Welcome to the weather with Mike B. <laughs> Just part of my weatherman voice. Uh, Fiji was absolute worst. 15 minutes of sun exposure. Mega sunburn. Oh, yeah. As soon as it goes down, the flies come out. Oh, gross. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'd imagine anywhere where there's uh, tundra, snow, whatever. Like, that would probably pre be pretty bad. Oh, this is getting cooler now. We're below 90. So this is working. This is working. Beautiful. Great. Oh, that's good. Okay. Cool. Our little system there, uh, works. Now, where else can we... ...start to... ...circulate, process... I think we could probably put another couple of vents in here. Well, okay, so, first off... Like I said yesterday, my delivery method for getting all this oxygen in the base is dumb. Right? Like, I'm using a... ...a series of splits that are just raw splits. I should be use I should be using the mod actually. You know what? I should be using the mod. Did I mention I should be using the mod? I should be using the mod. One way do we have to stay home because it was negative twenty degrees outside before wind chill. Oh my god. Just burns her face off. Just, just instantly just like freeze dries her face. <laughs> it looks like a like mango beef jerky. <laughs> it's like you step outside. <laughs> uh yeah, no, that's not fun. Wind chill's pretty bad in Vegas too. I think it's pretty bad. Let's let's uh let's try let's try out this this uh this splitter thing that I have. Cause it does have let's take a look at it first. It has a see gas splitter A. It splits gas equally in two pipes. If one of the output pipes can't handle half the input, the other pipe will receive it. And then it splits gas equally. Okay. So this just works like the bypass that we do with the um with our uh gas bridge so it doesn't i thought i thought that it would give me a it's a split but i i i, I wish it would see if one of the output pipes can't handle half the input the other pipe will receive it and it's the same thing this one it's just a different layout all right so this is just this just works like our gas bridge setup I was hoping that it would throttle it a little bit but we could just use a gas valve for that if we really desperately need to do that. The problem is that gas valves up here, man, this is a pain in the ass. What is a way that we can, because we can't even squeeze a valve underneath any of this stuff, right? Like we'd have to put it in somebody's room and then they can get mad. <laughs> Why is there a giant valve in my room? Although I could squeeze it into the bathroom. That is not a bad idea. Look at that. Ooh. 
Yeah. What the hell? Make a sparkly valve that plays dad, dead jazz music. That's funny. <laughs> Let's put it right... Right here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Here. 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 Uh, here. And here. And then what we'll do is we'll run the pipe in, or run the gas in. We'll put, like, drywall up or something like that to make it look not so shitty uh, when we can afford it. And then... <clears throat> one of those paths is going to have a lot of exposed... All of them are. <laughs> uh, and then what we'll do is... We'll just throttle these things down to, like, some super small number, so that way it doesn't get backed up through here. Right? Yeah, it shouldn't. Is that actually going to work? So, like, for example, we have this gas here, right? So let's go ahead and grab... The static edge. That's right. <laughs> yeah. And then we'll run this across here. Whoops. That was, uh... Wow, I don't know how that happened. We'll run this across here. And then we'll go in. And then it's gonna come out here. Um... And then we can... And then we'll have this distribute to this. And then we'll snip this on both sides. Right? See? And then... And then we'll just we'll just tie this up to some super small number, right? That way it's not constantly pushing um, and and packing up oxygen in here. Now eventually it will back up. I, I guess if 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 we don't have it tuned down enough, but this first floor is gonna be my experiment one. And then what I'll do is I'll have this jump up and then jump up and then jump up, and we'll just have this like simple, you know, multi-room distribution system here to keep this area, um, you know, just keep this area mostly. You know, pressurized, evenly pressurized, just say. So let's let's lower this to like a hundred, and we'll see how quickly that backs up. As soon as that one last tiny piece is done, just the last one, last one, guys. Let's get it. there. We go. So here it comes. It's gonna get backed up. Uh, okay. Oh, they didn't change this yet. Okay, hold on. Okay, quickly, quickly, come change this. Somebody come change this. Damn it. <clears throat> Funny enough, it's not getting backed up here. <laughs> of course not. But yeah, instead of running this one long line up here, or maybe I could still have a one long line going up here because it's still going to distribute to other areas, but I could just throttle it here. Here we go. And what we want to see is a couple of red blinks every once in a while, right? But... And then we'll run this over. Yeah, this will work. I think this will work. Okay. So, let's see. So, we'll just mirror this all the way up. I can do that. Okay, we'll stop there. And then, this will go... Can they reach all the way up there? I don't think so. <laughs> and then... Mm, mm. Oh shit, no, that's not, that's not right. That one is not right. That's gotta go up. So... Yeah, so this will just continue going up. So this one line will get backed up, but... It'll stop... Oxygen generation if it backs up all the way to the... To the actual generator, I guess. So let's see, so this should go up, and that'll connect there, and we'll cut this off. This is, this is perfect, like this, what is a hundred? Per? Maybe even less would probably be fine. Let's set it, let's set it to like, uh, 50 and just see what happens. That way you can keep this. Yeah. Copy settings, copy settings, copy settings, copy settings. And then we have to redo all this nonsense. There's so many things that are just all out of whack here. So we'll start snipping. Snip. And snip. Don't know where that's gonna go now. Snip, snip. There we go. And then also here, snip. And then snip. Good. Hey, we'll do the cleanup later, but connect here to here, here to here. Good. Good. 
This, I think this will be a much better system once it's done. Because we'll, we'll just have one long alliance backed up. They can, I don't think they can reach up here. I really don't think they can. But I, I, I'm going to put... Should I bother putting... And they have breathable gas all over the place in here, so it's yeah, it's not that big of a deal. We don't necessarily have to vent in every single room. My arthritis is wrecking my hands this past week. Hmm. I had a uh I don't I don't have arthritis issues, but uh and I sympathize with you. I think that sucks. It's not all the time, right, Madrid? But I had a I don't remember what we were playing, man. We were playing something last week or a week before or something that uh that was quite demanding, and I actually had like I can cramps afterwards. It was like oh, it was like temp temp actually. I think. No, it was temp temp. It was something else, not temp temp. Definitely not. Uh, I can't remember what it was. By the way, we're, we're this uh, setup down here is actually putting off a lot of heat, so that might be a problem in the future. But uh, I think right now, as long as, I think oh, you know, I think only because it was working so hard. Yeah, that's all it was. It just it was working so hard. Um. Yeah. Wow, look at this mess. Yeah, my psoriasis decided to evolve due to this rare candy. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Hold on, what? <laughs> now I have psoriatic, psoriatic, psoriatic arthritis. What the hell? Oh, oh, evolved. I get it. Sorry. <laughs> well, yeah, that sucks. Immensely. All right, so look, so look, here we go. No, I changed the damn settings. Oh, it is changed. Why did it let that fat piece through? Why are you letting all these f fucking what the hell? Fifty, average flow. Is it not set to fifty? I guess they. Oh, they never came around and uh, adjusted the settings. I think. This is ruining my setup, dog. Wait, what the? Why, why, why aren't they coming here? Is it done? It is, oh, you know what? Maybe it's a bug with the way that it uh, assigns dupes to make adjustments. You know? Like when you copy settings. Why is everybody ignoring this? Average flow rate. Oh, it was adjusted. Okay, somebody came by and did it. Weird. Okay, so now it's at 100. Now, now we choose 50. Here we go. They just did it. Good. Okay, cool. So now it's set. So is this one set? No. Okay, there's definitely something weird going on with the way that it does uh, when you copy the settings. It didn't copy the settings correctly. I wonder if... Okay, so if I if I just enter the number again and then hit it, then it will uh, then they'll come back and they'll do it. So enter, and then you should see someone go in there and, and change that in a second. And then we got to get yeah yeah this I do this would be a problem here. So let's see, this is gonna be a problem. <laughs> you can't put a ladder there. Uh, can't put a ladder there. Can't put a ladder there. You put a ladder here and then here and then here there. Now they can reach it. 